Fetterman has been a a strident supporter of Biden, and uh, which is interesting because he's disagreed with him on several things. But he said, you know, as, as you as you saw all these sort of praising and how wonderful and saintly Joe Biden is um, come rolling out on social media. He said, spare me the accolades of, of Biden um, after, you know, you basically knifed him in the back on, um, on his way out. Um, and, and so I think he, he encapsulated what a lot of people in Pennsylvania feel, you know, there is this sort of gush if you listened and watched CNN and MSNBC um, from both the anchors and um, the members of Congress and the U.S. Senate and governors weighed in of, of, oh, there's this excitement. Oh, there's this, you know, this is a rebirth. And I don't think after talking to people in Pennsylvania last night that was reflected among Democratic voters. They're not happy. They feel as though he was pushed out, and they don't like the way it was done. It's it's just seedy. It's just dirty of, of, of how they did it. Now, um, should he have gotten out sooner and read the tea leaves on the wall? Probably, but his ego got in the way. So you're as plugged into the Rust Belt as anybody in America I know that, that follows uh, and reports on politics. If Kamala is now going to be the heir apparent, and you know I'm hearing from friends of mine that say, nah, it's only a 30 percent chance it ends up being her. They're gonna they're gonna push her aside too and get around her. But let's assume for the sake of the argument that everybody's coalescing around. Well, we have no other choice. It's got to be Kamala Harris. Does that change the dynamics in swing states? Does it change the dynamics in Pennsylvania, Selena Zito? So, so already uh, the. Biden-Harris ticket was suffering in the Great Lakes Midwest, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin. There was already, he was already behind. He was never ahead in the polling at all this year. Switching it out to Harris is in not, is, is maybe like an old Band-Aid that you found in the back of your, um, in the back of your medicine cabinet that you hope it isn't dry and going to crack and not work. Um, but that's basically what a Harris ticket does. And here's why. Harris, as one Democrat told me, Harris is worse in, in, in western Pennsylvania because it is like it, it's Hillary Clinton, only four percentage points worse in Pennsylvania. And I said, why? And he said, well, you know, people are going to say, oh, that's race or, oh, it's gender. And it, he said, it's not. The problem is, is she's much more left and much more disconnected to the people that live in the um, Great Lakes Midwest, uh, the Rust Belt states, than Hillary was. Right. She doesn't know. She doesn't understand their concerns. And, and let's just zero in on one thing um, for the sake of argument. That would be um, hydraulic uh, fracturing, or the slang term is fracking. Yep. She's not only said she's against it, that she would end it on day one in her administration. And Casey, just, is, in, and Casey just endorsed that in, in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. It's a death yeah. sentence, right? Yeah. It absolutely is. Very quickly, uh, before we completely run out of time, if she picks Josh Shapiro as her number two, the governor of Pennsylvania, does that change the race? I, I highly doubt he would take it. Really? Yeah, I think Josh Shapiro, I mean, I'm just speculating here, but I think Josh Shapiro wants to, to finish his term. I think Josh Shapiro believes that he has more to do before he runs for president. Make no mistake, he will run for president one day. Oh, I figured he had nothing to lose because it's a losing campaign, but if he acquits himself, he becomes the front runner, right? Uh, After getting national attention? I think you can ruin your brand. 